The Pentagon releases shocking video of UFO. Following the publication of three short videos depicting unidentified aerial phenomena by a private business, the Pentagon has now made them publicly available. In the videos, there are what look to be unexplained flying objects that are seen to be traveling at a high rate of speed while being filmed by infrared cameras. In two of the videos, military personnel can be seen marveling at the lightning-fast speed with which the things are traveling. The possibility of it being a drone is raised by one of the voices. In September of the previous year, the Navy had already admitted that the tapes included truthful content. In order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real, or whether or not there is more to the videos, and according to Pentagon spokesperson Sue Go, the Pentagon releases shocking videos of UFO. Go said in a statement he made some time ago that after a thorough review, the department has determined that the authorized release of these unclassified videos does not reveal any sensitive capabilities or systems and it does not impinge on any subsequent investigations of military airspace incursions by unidentified aerial phenomena. Navy pilots now have access to detailed rules that outline how they should file reports in the event that they feel they have witnessed possible extraterrestrial craft. To the STARS Academy of Arts and Sciences, a firm that was co-founded by Tom DeLonge, a former singer for the band Blink-182, and which claims to study information regarding mysterious aerial phenomena, was the organization that initially made the Navy films available online between December 2017 and March 2018. In 2017, one of the pilots who had seen one of the mysterious objects in 2004 provided CNN with his account of how the item moved in a manner that he was unable to explain. That was a really jarring transition, almost like a ping-pong ball ricocheting off of a wall. It would strike and then move in the opposite direction. In the past, as part of a top-secret program that has since been shut down, the Pentagon conducted research on recordings of unidentified flying objects that were encountered by aircraft. This program was initiated at the request of Nevada's former Senator, Harry Reid. According to the Pentagon, the initiative began in 2007 and continued until 2012, when it was terminated because it was determined that there were other priorities that required funds. In spite of this, Luis Elizondo, the previous leader of the secret program, stated in an interview with CNN in 2017 that, in his opinion, there is very compelling evidence that we may not be alone. Elizondo stated of the things they investigated, these aircraft are displaying characteristics that are not currently within the U.S. inventory, nor in any foreign inventory, and he was referring to inventories in other countries. He claims that in 2017, he resigned from his post at the Defense Department in order to protest the secrecy that surrounded the program, as well as the internal opposition to supporting it. On Monday, Reed tweeted that he was glad that the Pentagon formally published the tapes, but he also stated that it only scratches the surface of research and materials available. The United States of America has to conduct an in-depth scientific investigation of this topic, as well as any potential repercussions for the country's security. In addition, there are still senators who are interested in the subject matter as evidenced by the fact that they requested and received a secret briefing on unidentified aircraft from personnel working for the Navy the previous summer. If pilots at Oceana or anywhere else are reporting flying risks that interfere with training or put them in danger, then Senator Warner wants to know the answers to those questions. Rachel Cohen, a spokesperson for Democratic Virginia Senator Mark Warner, told CNN at the time that it doesn't matter if it's weather balloons, little green men or something else entirely. He claimed that they can't ask our pilots to put their lives at risk unnecessarily. For the first time in the past half century, the United States Congress convened an official public hearing on the subject of unexplained aerial occurrences last year. The Pentagon has informed legislators that it has collected more than 400 reports of UAPs, 11 of which were instances in which aircraft came dangerously close to colliding with the objects. They also shared the following video, which went viral and made news all over the world. It is the year 2021, and a Navy pilot is flying a F-18 fighter aircraft off the coast of the East Coast when he receives reports of an unusual object in his airspace. 
the pilot pulls out his cell phone at the same time as he is observing the sky, and it is at that moment that he takes this picture. Keep a tight eye on it. Have you picked up on that? This is not something that would have been included in the film Top Gun. Let's zoom in. A spherical, maybe metallic, unknown object appears to fly quite close to the plane for a brief moment before disappearing into the distance. Amy Title, a journalist, claims that when this film was presented to members of Congress, the unexplained craft caused the hallways of Capitol Hill to shake. The United States government was unable to provide a definitive answer to the contents of this film. Nevertheless, it does appear to show something passing past the window. Could you perhaps explain what it is that we are looking at, Mr. Brick? What exactly are we looking at here? In this video, it can be seen to be reflected, or at least somewhat reflective, and it zips right by the cockpit of the airplane. It is crucial that the government has acknowledged their existence and acknowledged that they remain unexplained, both of which statements are true. But what exactly is it that makes this such a puzzle? The title states that this craft exhibits characteristics that are consistent with what UFO researchers refer to as the five observables. In most cases, they will display an anti-gravity lift. They have an extremely high rate of acceleration, and they are able to travel at hypersonic speeds without producing any exhaust. They are either exceedingly difficult to spot or employ some form of concealing. They are able to transition smoothly from the water to the air. This object seems to be traveling at incredible speeds despite the fact that there is no discernible source of power. The issue that should be asked of Congress and the Pentagon is why it appears that the great majority of these unidentified objects are aiming towards military aircraft. A significant number of reports of UAPs originate from airplanes. Therefore, there are some people who believe that this extraterrestrial technology is monitoring humanity and is intentionally aiming its fire towards airplanes in order to investigate and research the technology that exists on Earth. As a result, the military and Congress have begun their investigations into UAPs and have opened the doors to the public, at least a few of them, even if not all of them. There are still meetings being held behind closed doors to discuss what the administration refers to as more sensitive issues, but we are going to keep our attention on the situation at hand since there is a possibility that this peculiar item can be recognized. Tim McMillan, a specialist in aviation, comes first. He asserted that they most certainly do not see the wings or any of the control surfaces that one would expect to see in a fixed-wing drone or airplane. The rotors of a rotary-winged aircraft, such as a helicopter or drone, are not visible to the human eye. It is impossible for cubes and balls to fly. Balloons are the only form of items that can travel through the air and truly fulfill the requirements of the aforementioned definition. Do not forget to subscribe for more up-to-date space content. Is it possible that this is a balloon? The United States Department of Defense asserted that the wreckage that was discovered at Roswell in 1947 was connected to a military operation that involved high-altitude balloons. That explanation is called into doubt by believers. If it's neither a plane nor a balloon, does it suggest that we're looking at some kind of top-secret technology? Because this information originates from the Office of Naval Intelligence, and you wouldn't want the public to know about your top-secret technologies. That is a very improbable scenario. Therefore, if it is not ours, might it be coming from a location much further away, such as space? It does not correspond to the mechanics of flying. In my perspective, anything is possible unless it is shown otherwise. Who knows, it may be an extraterrestrial being, but there is no way to tell for sure. Because of this, it is really fascinating. Their conclusion was that it was a genuine UFO. The findings of their specialists are consistent with those of naval intelligence. They are also completely unaware of what it is that they are looking at. The uplifting news is, the United States Department of Defense is now treating this matter seriously enough that it has formed a specialized task force with the mission of locating, identifying, and characterizing objects of interest. The following report from them has piqued our interest. You will not believe what scientists just discovered. Shocking! Click on next video to find out.